You're going to be one of the first people alive today to see this, to witness this solid silver tankard sparkle like it did when it was new almost 300 years ago. It's been in the same family for over 100 years and this is the very first time it's been polished in all that time. It was, of course, made for drinking, but also made with a whistle to attract attention when it needed to. The whistle is located here. And there's a very good reason for that whistle, and that's coming up. Made by the silversmith Isaac Cookson in Newcastle, England, during the reign of George II, circa 1740. Now, the tankard is worth very many thousands of pounds, and it belongs to a client of mine who doesn't want to sell it. But I offered to polish it for him, so I, we, could witness it come back to life. And it's a grand tank at this, by the way. A personal one that the owner would have used at home, certainly, but also taken with him to the local tavern. Certainly not something that would have been tavern supplied. A tavern tankard from this period would be very cheaply made and made from pewter. So this is very special indeed. Not only for its quality, its value and obvious beauty. I mean, come on, just feast your eyes on the shape of that body. And oh, that handle is truly delicious. Not only a gorgeous shape, but yes, it has a built-in whistle. Designed for a specific purpose. I'll give it a blow once I've finished polishing it. And that purpose was to gain the attention of the barmaid in the noisy, smoky and rowdy tavern. You drain the tankard of its ale, put the handle up to your lips and blow like mad. The barmaid would hear the whistle and she'd head in the direction of the noise and fill up your tankard from her jug of ale. That saved you from having to stand up and go to the bar yourself.